Let's come before God in prayer, offering our thanks, and let's give to God our concerns. Let's pray. Love has its source in you, Creator God, flows from you like an ocean into a world as unyielding as any shoreline cliff. And like the ocean which batters, erodes, and wears away even the hardest stone, your love persists, finds cracks and inlets in hardened hearts, flows inside and works a miracle. Who would think that water was more powerful than granite, love mightier than the hardest heart? Thank you, Creator God, for the power of your love. Reconciling God, as we remember all those who are adversely treated because of their place of origin or their skin tone, we pray for the time to come when all people will rejoice in the diversity of different colours and races, different cultures and backgrounds. Your kingdom come on earth as in heaven. As we remember those who are vulnerable, frightened to leave their homes for fear of street crimes, we pray for the time to come when violence will be no more and all will live in security and safety. Your kingdom come on earth as in heaven. As we remember those who have suffered abuse at the hands of friend or stranger and who bear the scars physical, mental and emotional, we pray for the time when all women and all men will respect each other and where children will not fear violence or abuse. Your kingdom come on earth as in heaven. As we remember those whose human rights are ignored, those used as political pawns in disputes between nations, those who live in constant fear of the bomb or the bullet, and as we especially remember the people of Myanmar and Yemen, we pray for the time when peace will reign throughout the world. Your kingdom come on earth as in heaven. As we remember those who are alone and isolated, those who mourn, those who are ill and those who look after loved ones, we pray for the time when there will be no more pain or tears and when all will live in full community. Your kingdom come on earth as in heaven. In a time of quiet prayer, we bring all who are on our minds and in our hearts at this time, and we pray for our own needs. Loving Lord, as we look upon each other, may we see your image, which we all share. May we love as we are loved, and may we welcome as we have been welcomed by you. In your name we pray. 
Amen. Our final hymn for this time of worship is Be Thou My Vision. <laughs> 